All right, it's time again to go thrifting. I went back to the Goodwill uh, that I found all the stuff, all the stuffed animals at uh, last week. So I'm going to check it out today and see if they have anything good. Uh, I'm looking for Hello Kitty stuff uh, for a friend of mine. And I'm also looking for um, obviously action figures and stuff like I always do. But some cool McDonald's toys as well. Um, but let's see what they have. So I'm just checking to see what they have here. It's looking a little bit picked over. This is where I found all those stuffed animals the other week, but there's not really much here. Ooh. That's bad. That must have came out after because I missed it. Throwback. The Dora house. Remember this thing? It's eight bucks, but it's got new pieces. So pretty cool. Looks like it's been resold a couple times. There's an Imaginex castle, which is pretty cool here. See if there's some videos or DVDs. I don't see any video games, which is weird because normally there's a lot of video games here, but it looks like uh, they're not here, which is unfortunate. But no real DVDs or VHSs I want here right now. Just checking the books, see if there's anything. I don't see any Stephen King. Some Carolyn Keene. Got a whole bunch of Dan Brown there. No real good kids books either, uh, which is unfortunate. But keep looking. This has been here for like two weeks. I'm still seeing it every time. Bunch of like newer kids books. I'm looking for Goosebumps. Not really seeing any. None down here either. So keep looking. Babysitter's Club. Those are kind of neat. So far it's been pretty brutal. I haven't really found anything other than the Hunchback. I'm going to check the bags and see if I can't find anything. So there's a bunch of bags here, just an absolute ton of them. Um, nothing really crazy like Transformers or G.I. Joe's, but I did find these doll bags for $4.49. There's got na 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 surprises in them. Uh, there's a Monster High doll in there. So one thing I've learned is that my daughters love dolls and there's a huge market for Monster High. There's another Monster High in here, you can see, and uh, an LOL doll and a Marvel Pony. So I'm gonna get those two. I'll look at them better in the car, but those are pretty good finds. And then I found this bag, which is full of older Barbie dolls as well. I think that one right there in particular is really old um, and a few others. So this one's seven, so I'm going to get it anyway, but it's still a good find. So that wasn't bad. I mean, I put the hunchback back. I didn't get it, um, but I did get these three bags full of dolls, um, which being a girl dad that I am, I'm learning that there's a humongous market for Barbie stuff and uh, Monster High in particular. Some of the Monster High dolls are crazy expensive. So I'm gonna take a better look at the bag in the car. So that was pretty good. I didn't find any Hello Kitty stuff or McDonald's toys or action figures, but um, like I said, the one thing I've been learning is that there's a huge market for dolls. It's not something that I traditionally bought in my past, but now I go crazy on dolls and dollhouses because I mean, there's a huge market for it. Uh, more so I think even than action figures. So learning about Monster High and Barbie has been uh, so hard because there's so many different like accessories and pieces, but uh, there's it's definitely worth getting into. So let's take a look at those bags. Okay, so here's all the bags I got. So as you can see, I don't know, I think that's a Power Ranger Barbie. That's an LOL doll, obviously. Um, so there's two Monster High dolls in here, I believe. There's one right here looks like she's got a replacement arm she's got her dress and then there's another one behind it that i think it like is a better doll her name is operetta and then this one this doll looks like it's complete uh i don't know her name but she's got her shoes and everything and then there's for my daughter uh cinderella and then a few others i believe this is disney descendants and this bag back here has, these are older Barbies. This one in particular is an older Barbie. I think it's a Belle from uh, Beauty and the Beast. And then this one behind it, it's not a Barbie. I think it's a Cindy doll. It's old, old, old. So I'm gonna have to do a better look, take a better look at these bags, but at least three of the five are vintage Barbies. So, I mean, talking 80s or 70s. It's a pretty good find. I only spent uh, 16 bucks on everything, so. Thanks for watching and I will be thrifting again soon so stay tuned.